Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Veda Gaming 2019. And today we are checking out Yeast 6, the Ark of Napistum. Yeast is a very long running set of action RPGs going way back to the mid to late 80s. About the same time frame as the original Final Fantasy and such. And it is kind of notoriously known for being kind of difficult. I don't have any experience with the Yeast series, yet I own many of them on Steam. <laughs> I believe they're up to to 8 now. With the 8th game releasing a couple years ago. But anyway, let's dive in here and check it out. Ah, good. Nightmare difficulty. Sounds great. Normal's fine. I don't want to know what catastrophe mode is. All right, very simple title screen. I like it. Music is good. And for those wondering, the original release of this game was in 2003. With the current Steam version releasing a few years ago. I believe this was also ported to the PS2. And eventually the PSP? I don't know the exact dates on those. What is it, Isha? Oh, it's nothing. I just thought I felt the wind stirring, that's all. The wind? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. It's really nothing, don't worry. Could I listen to you play some more? I love the sound of your flute. Hee <laughs> hee. I'd be happy to oblige. What on earth? He's an Arabian. But how did he wash up here? That's a first for an Arabian. Is he dead? No, he's still breathing at least. But if we don't do something for him soon... Isha, can you watch over him for me? I'll go back to the village and call the others. Oh, okay. He's got no tail. And his ears are small, too. But his hair is so red. Almost like fire. What? And that's a good sign. No. I realized I had an exclamation point and I read it like a question mark. What was that? I, I thought I'd finally stop seeing them. Why, why does looking at him make me... I, I can't stop shaking. I'm scared. I'm really, really scared. Oh, we about to get an anime intro? Yes, we are. I don't know why, but I love it when RPGs kick off with these over-the-top anime intros. They're so, I don't know, exciting. Just one of those things I always get a kick out of. Something I love about the Tales games is they always have these crazy intros. I think my favorite in, uh, animated intro is actually Suikoden 3. I remember I actually used to watch that every time I turned the game on. It was like watching the opening to a show. But yeah, I dig everything about these. <laughs> Rock and music, cool animation, all kinds of stuff that's probably going to happen at some point that I have no context for. I mean, how can you not love it? Giant eyeballs. For what appears to be a demon statue. So cool.
Yep, no context for any of this whatsoever. So we have things to kind of look forward to, I guess. Okay, pirate flag. I assume there's going to be some sailing at some point. Awesome. I don't know why I love those so much. To think the day would come when an Aresian would wash up on our shores. And a warrior, no less, judging by the steel sword he has with him. What could have possessed you to bring him here? Forgive me, uncle. If I'd done nothing, this young man would have been with us no longer. I thought this would be the best place to treat his injuries. You know full well that the villagers' distrust of Eresians these days is greater than it ever was. And I realize I'm pronouncing Eresians different every time I say it. Like my brain can't pick a pronunciation. You are a priest. Such careless conduct on your part will only make the situation worse. But I... Oh, thank Alma. You're finally awake. Do you understand our language? Adol gently nodded his head. That simplifies matters, then. I am Ord, Chief of Reda. What is your name, red-headed Eurasian? Adol introduced himself and thanked Ord for helping him. You Eresians truly do have the strangest names. And if anything, you should save your thanks for this young lady. She was the one who found you washed up ashore and tended to your injuries. My name is Ola. I've given you some basic first aid, but your wounds haven't yet closed completely. I'll need you to take it easy and get some much-needed rest for my sake, please. I'll have no such thing. He may be a powerless Eresian, but he is young and he will recover quickly. As soon as you are able, I must ask you to leave here at once. Uncle, if you could just reconsider. Do not forget your position, Ola. You are the priestess and a child of Alma. You will conduct yourself as such. Please don't mind him. He's really not so cold as he would have you believe. Though I'm sorry to say that when it comes to Eresians, he's never been the most patient of men. Lately, especially so. Anyway, rest as long as you need. Oh. Um, I... The girl pointed to Adol's equipment. Did she just steal my sword? Or did, he, or did she bring me the equipment? I guess she brought it to me. Okay, all I can do at the moment is jump. Okay, I can climb this ladder, but I don't seem to be able to actually get off of it. This is a very interesting art style for an RPG. It's kind of 3D, but not completely. Digging it. Also digging the chill background music. Ola silently offered her prayers to the altar, her eyes firmly closed. Adol called out to her, but she did not respond. Hmm? Oh, um, pardon me. 
I always end up getting lost in my own little world once I start praying. It's nice to see you up and about. By the way, there's a lot more color in your cheeks compared to before. You'd been asleep for three whole days, you know. Although your wounds healed quickly enough, you still weren't coming along as much as I would have liked. I was starting to worry, but I feel much better now. It's clear that you've made a full recovery. Oh, where are my manners? If I may, let me introduce myself again. I'm the priestess of Rada, or priestess of the Rada tribe, Hola. Um, I believe you said your name was Adal? Would you mind telling me how you washed up on this island? Adol explained that while riding a pirate ship, he had fallen overboard when they were attacked by the Roman fleet near the Great Vortex. Pirate? Roman? I'm afraid the details are a bit lost on me, but your story appears to match that of the other Arasians here. You must have plenty of questions yourself. If I can, I'd be happy to answer them. So what would you like to know? Uh, about her ears and tail. Ah, those. They must be an unusual sight for you. Everyone who comes from the outside, we call them Arasians, is surprised when they first see them. With such short ears and no tail to speak of, however, I must confess that to us, you're the unusual ones. Hee <laughs> hee. I suppose it's all a matter of perspective, but our thinking's not so different, yours and mine. About the tribe. We Rada are a tribe that has resided on the Anon Isles since ancient times. We live under the protection of the goddess Alma, and she bestows us with blessings from the forest and sea. From my experience, Eresians don't typically think of nature the same way we do. So it may sound a little strange. Okay, ask about Eresians. There are many people on these islands who can, or who came from outside the Great Vortex, much like you did. We call these people Eresians. These days, the Eresians are settled on Canaan Island to the northeast in a village made from stone. Although, if you were looking to see it for yourself, I'm sorry to say it isn't possible to travel there at the moment. About the islands. The Canaan Islands is an archipelago surrounded by the very same great vortex you found yourself in. We live on the first of these islands, Quatera Island, which is rife with foliage. The second one, where the Eresians live, Canaan Island, is covered by vast plains and mountains. Finally, there is Zemeth Island, a place of ruins in the center of the Inland Sea. That's the Canaan Islands in a nutshell. About the girl who ran away. Oh, you've met her. Her name is Isha. She's my younger sister. As to why she's been avoiding you, well... She's always been a little shy about her residence. I hope you won't take it to heart. Isha may be quieter than most, but she's a very sweet and thoughtful young lady. Do try to get along with her, would you? About the giant man. That would be Ord. He's the chief of Rada, as well as my uncle. He's a warrior and hunter, as well as a wise, wise man who is well-versed in the legends relative to the islands. By the way, um... Adol? Please try not to let what he said bother you too much. We have a long history, shall we say, with the Eresians, so he tends to rather obstinate towards them. But I'd like to think that he'll change his mind about you once you open yourself up to him. Alright. I have to attend my duties as a priestess, so I'll be here for a while longer. Adol, please... Don't hesitate to ask if there's anything else you'd like to know. Alright, so we've already talked to her about everything. Didn't seem to be anything in the other room. Let's head outside. Hello? Hmm, you're up, I see. I'm Silva. 
a red a redan warrior i might have been the one who carried you here but only because ola asked me to make no mistake i sure as hell wouldn't have helped an Arisian otherwise right got the hots for ola got it i'm sorry i didn't know you were there Hollis told me all about you. How are you feeling? Better? What's in here? This is a shop. You're the one, are you not? The Arazianola wasted her energy looking after? I don't just understand what goes on in the mind of her sometimes. A Redan priestess shouldn't stoop to associating with the filthy Arazians. I almost certainly need to have a word with Ord about this. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you, too. Oh, so you're the Resinola bra here. Your hair's such a vibrant shade of red. You look pretty handsome. And perhaps a little gullible, too, Paul. Oh, come on. <laughs> the setup and the spike. This building looks important. Hey, you drunk, too? Heard of people getting a red fache? Face. Okay, he's slurring, that's what it is. A red face when they're wasted. But never red hair. You crazy Russians. <laughs> Alright, we found the town drunk. And what's in here? Oh, hello. Y you're an Russian. What are you doing here? Okay, we can climb ladders, but we can't actually get on top of anything, which is kind of weird. Everybody's so rude to us. We just want to be friends. Oh, hello. Judging by your appearance, you're from Europe, I assume. Washed up on the shores of Quartier Island, did you? I'm amazed the Redans here even paid you a second glance. The name's Kevin. I was washed up along these islands a while back, same as you. Hmm? What am I doing here? Oh, the usual. I came from the neighboring Canaan Island for work. I'm a man of business, you see. Speaking of business, is there anything you need? Let me know and I'll be happy to provide. Okay, so Europe exists in this world. It's good to know. Oh. Up running from me. Be my friend. Oh, we can use our sword now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that feels good. That's fun. Is this a save crystal? Yep, it's exactly what that is. Hey, what's over here? Hey, it leads us to the edge of the screen. Just assume we'll transition to another area. I want to explore this one. You know, surely there's got to be some treasure or something to murder. Eh? Also leads to a different direction. And there's no southern path. What's this? Nothing. Alright, let's uh, go over here, I guess. A thing. Come here, Thing. Prepare to die. Thing has died. There's treasure. I don't see a way to get it. Path might loop around. Okay, yeah, combat is very quick, and I like it. Yeah, that thing was kind of tough. We 
Will you die already? No, we leveled up already. Nice. Okay, avoid that. And just stay on it. Yeah. Oh, secret path. Think we found that treasure. What do we got? Obtained honey. Do I have a menu now? I don't seem to have a menu. Oh, there it is. That is a weird button for the menu to be on. I opened the menu by clicking the right stick. Honey. Restores 50 HP. Cool. So honey is a potion. Alright, cool. Yeah, right stick. Such a weird button to open the menu. I may have to go in and customize the controls on this at some point if I intend to actually play it through. Just having square as jump and X as attack is a little weird. Oh, that, I actually have to jump to hit a flying enemy. Or catch them when they come down. Like that. Ooh, almost ran into that. Did run into that. Oh, we died. Wow. Okay. I was not watching my HP. Uh, retry. Okay, put me back at the save point so we didn't lose much. But I have to get my treasure again. At least now I know where it is. Hey, murder that. Just hack through this guy. You have to get in there before you can breathe again. Alright, there's the level up back. Now where was that path? I need my honey. Right here. Wait out the breath attack. Which was in the wrong direction. I'll take it. Okay, got the honey back. I didn't think I'd taken that much damage to actually die. Like I said, these games are kind of notorious for being difficult. Also remember, there are two difficulties above this, plus whatever catastrophe mode is. with that. Okay, yeah, these bugs hit really hard. That's where we lost most of our HP. Yeah, get him on the ground. And dealt with. Alright, so over here was the death trap. Let's get rid of this one. Bait the attack. Alright, let's use that honey. Oh, and what's this? Amino flower. Amino flower cures poison.
Yeah, we take so much damage going in there. We're poisoned, aren't we? Alright, well, we've got it down to just this one. And now there's another bug. Ah, oh, good level up. Back to full hill. Bait the attack. Wow, it's really throwing all kinds of enemies at us now. Alright, take both of those out. There you go, get down here. Damage is scaling significantly, though. Yeah, pick that up in case we get poisoned again. Anything else here? Yeah, I just wanna... just wanna point out this is the start of the game. They're already throwing this many enemies at us. This game does not play around. Oh, another save crystal. Fountain of Prayer. Oh, look at this. I think it's a fancy way of telling us we went the wrong way, because there's nothing here. Alright. Guess we should go the other way. I wonder if the enemies respawn. Yeah, absolutely they did. Alright, we're just gonna... Oh, oh, yep. Yeah, yeah, okay, that was bad. And we're poisoned. Let me get away from that before I cure it. Yep, getting out of here. Need more honey. I'm gonna hack away these just because they're easy to kill. Alright, let's try the other path. Hi. Hey there. Are you up and about already? You were as weak as a newborn when we rescued you from the beach. I seriously thought you might have been done for. Oh, by the way, my name's Largo. And I might not look that tough, but I'm a Redan warrior through and through. Nice to meet you. Finally, somebody here is polite. Okay, and save crystals, restore your health. Good to know. That will be crucial to my survival. Okay, one is to the south here. Oh, the beach. I will say this might be where we washed up. Actually, yeah, it probably is. Hey, okay, Isha is not here. All right, well, we found the beach, at least. Now, did it actually indicate that she went this way, or did... Or, and I missed it, or... Are we just supposed to wander around like we did? I wasn't really paying attention. All right, well, I guess we're not going that way yet. It leaves us one possibility. Bait the attack.
Ooh, a chest. Obtained an herb. What is an herb? Oh, we have some honey. Good. 100 HP. Okay. So our herb is like a super potion. I like that he lunges a little on the first attack. It kind of helps you close the distance. Wait, there's not a path here. That was just treasure. Then where am I supposed to be going? Because there was nothing at the beach. There aren't any more paths here. I mean, I'll go take another look at the beach. Can't go out into the water. I talk to them. Oh, there's a treasure chest back there. Looks like I have to access it from somewhere else, though. That it is currently just there to taunt me. I wonder where Isha went. I am not seeing another path. Get my health back. Just to verify there's no more path. Hmm. Alright, well. Not entirely sure where exactly to go at the moment. But we've shown off quite a bit of combat now. So I think this is a decent enough place to wrap up the video. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow with another sequel. See you then.